guys, welcome to the Nook Cocktail Club. Today we are doing a video tutorial for a very special cocktail kit that he would have received recently for the film release of Raya and the Last Dragon. We were really excited to make this cocktail kit and it was done especially for this film. So we're going to talk you through it and we're going to get making it. It's a really easy one and it's full of flavour. Right, so in your kit you have the recipe card, but we don't need that because I'm going to talk you through everything. So we've got a little bottle of ginger beer. We have a bamboo straw with cocktail umbrella. We also have mango vodka, lemon juice. We have a dragon fruit and mango special blend. And we also have a yuzu liqueur. We popped in a special bit of busy magic in the form of some edible gold shimmer. And we had these little bottles specially made for, um, for this kit with the little dragon um, on the top. So that's a nice keepsake and we, we hope you like them. We've also uh, teamed up with a local company called Polly's Petals um, and we've popped in some food grade um, flower garnish really. We thought these would be really, really gorgeous to pop on the top. So there's a straw flower in there and some gorgeous petals as well. So we're going to get making it. You don't need a shaker. If you do have a shaker at home and you do like to make your own cocktails, you can basically just pop everything in a shaker with some ice shake everything pop it in the glass and then top up the ginger beer after but we've made it really really simple so it is a building glass cocktail so grab a tall glass we're going to pop some ice in we're going to go about halfway with the ice and then we're going to get our ingredients in so we're going to grab some lemon juice pop that in first These bottles are really cool, cool to keep and use at home. We're going to pop our dragon fruit and mango blend in as well. We chose this specifically to keep in um, theme of the dragon uh, theme of the film, but also the pop of colour on this is just so gorgeous. So we've also got some yuzu liqueur, which we're going to pop in. It doesn't really matter what order you put these in. We're going to mix everything up anyway and some mango vodka as well. Lovely. So, I'm gonna grab a long spoon. So we've got a bar spoon which has a disc end on it, but just a, a latte spoon or um, a long spoon at home is absolutely fine. So you wanna pop the spoon in and you just wanna pour everything up through the ice. really nicely well mixed. So I'm going to grab about half of the um, edible shimmer. You don't need to use all of this, it's really just to add a little bit of magic and lovely shimmer to the drink but you could keep a little bit back and use it for some Prosecco on another occasion or if you experiment with some cocktails at home um, just use a little bit less and, and keep some for another day. But I'm going about half in there and then I'm just going to restir just to distribute it around the cocktail. And that's just giving it a really lovely pearly sheen. Right, lovely. So I'm gonna pop some more ice in the top. We wanna be bringing the liquid up the glass about two thirds of the way. What we want with the ginger beer, the ginger beer is our um, sparkling top. We just want a nice fizz on the top of the drink, but we don't want to overload the cocktail with that fiery ginger flavour. We just want a, a, just a, a nice hit of it, not too much. So bring the uh, ice up so the liquid is coming up two thirds full, and then we're just going to use the ginger beer as a topper, so you will have some left over. So if you've got that colour separation at home, that's ideal. The, the colour on the bottom and then the clear fizzy liquid at the top. And then we're going to pop our bamboo straw down one side. I'm going to go cocktail umbrella at the end, but I'm going to get it open ready. 
I'm going to open our Polly's petals. <coughs> Smells amazing. Lovely. So I'm going to just float the floor strap, um, straw flower on the top. And then we also have some dried orange lily in here as well and um, rose petals. So I'm just going to sprinkle them on and down the side. Lovely. And then I'm going to pop the cocktail umbrella in the top as well. Make sure I can get to my straw. And then with, I'm not going to probably use all of the, the shimmer because we did load these up quite a lot, but I'm going to grab a good palmful and then just do a final sprinkling over the top. So that is looking absolutely gorgeous. It's really long and refreshing. We really hope you enjoy it and thanks for tuning in.